The final presentation for my work in visual art is a series of acrylic dog portraits that represent a concept known as breed discrimination. I decided to focus my topic on breed discrimination after learning how these laws and regulations can seriously affect the well-being of the animals that are affected. If you go to your local shelter, you'll notice that a lot of the animals there are pit bulls. This is because people are unable to train them properly and may even get rid of them because their home ownership insurance goes up just because of the dog's breed. This can result in overcrowding of shelters, um, unwarranted euthanasia, among many other problems that a lot of people just simply aren't aware of. The first painting that I created for this project was uh, the portrait of the poodle. Uh, I really didn't know the direction that I was going with my thesis when I first started this one. I just knew that I wanted to uh, create something animal related to synthesize my degree in animal science. But essentially when I created this one, I didn't really have too much of a process. It kind of just flowed. Um, the only thing that I did differently than usual is uh, deciding to not focus on realism. I really wanted to challenge myself and use colors that are unrealistic and really play with viewers emotion, which is something that I've never done in the past, but this really helped me snowball into um, deciding how I wanted to present breed discrimination in a way that could um, basically use color to tell a narrative. There definitely were a few courses at Worcester State that helped me develop the skills I needed to complete this project. Probably the most important was painting one and two. Um, this is simply because these are acrylic portraits and this really helped me develop my technical skills and even the confidence to create larger works of art. I don't necessarily have any concrete plans for this project beyond my time at Worcester State, but I would love to be able to share this project with local animal shelters like the Worcester Animal Rescue League. Um, even if they could just share it, I feel like it would really open people's eyes to what sort of goes on within the shelter walls. If you look at their website, for example, almost all of the time there's mostly pit bulls there. Um, so I feel like the more people know about these dogs' characters and how the way society perceives them can really affect them negatively, um, hopefully it will change their perception and really just give the opportunity to give these dogs a voice.